bottled it. But look at that bloke there, look. Trying to look in the back of my van. And we're back in the van. And uh yeah, well, you know where we're going anyway. You've seen the thumbnail, that's why you're here. So uh yeah, we're going back to another another well-known dogging spot. Uh different to the last one we stopped at. Um, not too far away, but uh, yeah, another well-known dogging spot. So we're going to spend the night there and see what happens. Taking the camera off, off the screen, off the windscreen, because there's a few cars down here already, and it's still only it's only six o'clock. Don't get me wrong, there could be dog walkers, but again, as per last time, we've already seen oh, single male occupants, sees single male occupants in the vehicles. Uh, at least two vehicles with single male occupants. Jesus Christ. I'll show you at some point later on how bad the road is on the way in here. The actual, you know, the drive. And you can't tell me people want to drive down this car park just to walk their dogs. We're in the back now. Into stealth mode. We're right up against this, this sort of, oh God, here we go. I'm going to say right up against this here, so no one can park next to me. That's the drive you come in, and this one's only a small car park. So, that car there, single male occupant, car next to it, guy just walking his dog, and the car next to that, single male occupant. And then there's a couple of empty cars here, which we assume are dog walkers. So, again, what are people doing here? What do people... If they're not, you know, I mean, what am I doing here, to be honest? What am I doing here? Oh, God. Anyway, what am I doing here? Yeah. I'm going to have some dinner, I know that much. I'm going to have a curry. So, yeah, what have I got? Chicken tikka pakoras, chicken tikka masala, some nam bread in there. I'll chuck it all in the air fryer. Oh no, sugar. I didn't take into consideration or give a thought to how small the air fryer is in there. How am I going to cook this dinner? Shall I cook it on there? I might cook it on there. This is what we're going with. Got the pokoras cooking nicely in there. That's cooking nicely on the gas. Got a little treat for pudding, some ice cream, a few more beers. And this is what we got then: chicken tikka masala, pakoras, naan bread. Yes, I spilt some. A bit more naan bread cooking in there. Oh, that's nice. And a beer. Curry done. Not gonna lie, it wasn't great to be honest. Um, it just wasn't hot enough. I don't think I warmed the sauce up enough. But it was burning on the ridge monkey with the being direct heat from this you know, the direct heat from there. So, it definitely wasn't worth all the washing up I've now got to do. Was it worth all this mess? Definitely doesn't feel like it at the moment. There's a van just arrived. Box right in front of my van. This place is weird. Bloke in a van. Bloke in a van's just pulled up. Bloke in a van's just pulled up. He was parked there. He just drove off. He was parked, parked there. He walked down there 
and I was at the back there cleaning my, um, my stuff. In fact, I can just see, I can still see a man there. See him? So that bloke walked down there and then walked behind my van where I was cleaning my stuff. Look at that bloke there, look. Don't look in the back of my van. Look at him. Sorry. I just had a curry and it seemed like a good idea at the time, but not so much not so much anymore. Uh, yeah. It's clearing up it's the it is, it's a busy Yeah. Wasn't I not, not ideal to be honest. But anyway. Try my best. So <laughs> <laughs> when the wife kicks me out, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's leave you to All right, I'm mate, no worries. Have, my dinner, have a nice right? evening. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers. 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 Can't tell me that's not weird. An Astra estate. Something tells me he'll be back. Something tells me he'll be back later on. But yeah, he was just hovering down here. He was hovering down here. This is where the other guy come. Now when I was trying to show you, I was in the back of the van. He was hovering here, trying to look inside my van, and he stopped. And I'm not sure exactly what the camera picked up. I'm not sure what you could hear or not. But he said he'd just been deer hunting. All right, mate, that's what you call it. Well, he's driving off anyway, so. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna finish off cleaning up. Put my camera on charge. And I'll see you in a bit. Just washed everything up. The current situation is that thing there is just pulled in. That golf has been there since we turned up, and there's that camper van just turned up as well. But yeah, that golf, a man still sat in the driver's seat, got his lights on, and he's been here, sat there for ages, just sat there. So, this is the situation earlier on back door open open to about there so you can't exactly go through there two blokes come through walking through here they were hovering here stood in this little area trying to peer into the van Van's back. He was down here earlier on. 
Then he went and parked up there. Now you just do that again. So I'm guessing that van over there, guessing they're stopping near the night. <clears throat> so that's the third time he's done that. Look what's back people, look what's back. Oh. Yeah, that's probably going to be it for me for tonight. So the time is now, what time is it? It's 10 to 11. I'm just going to go to bed, to be honest, because, because it's 10 to 11. So in the morning. The five minutes ago I told you I was going to sleep. Since then, two cars have been round, papping their horns. Motor owner was here. He's bottled it and he's gone. Oh. Right, so uh, full disclosure, it's now. So is it? It's now half past eleven. And I'm not in the same car park I've moved on um, just getting into bed just like as I said as I said you know I was going to get to bed a couple of cars turned up one held its horn on in the main car park for ages and then he pulled next to the other camper van that was there held its horn on for ages and then pulled up next to me held its horn on for ages then it went to move out of the car park and then as it went to move out of the car park, another car pulled in. So at that point I thought, I'm getting out of here. I just didn't feel safe. Um, unfortunately, these kind of places, because it's a well-known dogging place, you know, it attracts idiots. <laughs> Me for one, you know. And then, like I say, idiots like that as well. Morning. Oh. Slept well. Uh, yeah. I've got to get changed and then go and check on the camera. I've got to put the camera up on the way back. So, uh, hopefully, it's still there. This is where we ended up in the end. Like I say, there was a van there. Another one there. There'll be some people in the comments saying did the right thing, and there'll be some people in the comments ribbing me for it, saying I should have stayed. But I felt a bit unsafe. Um, chances of anything happening? 
probably slim, but at the same time, the chances of me getting any sleep probably slim because I was just getting into bed as that car, as that van, it was a little van, not a car, I keep saying car, it was a little van, kept um, people it's on at me, well, next to me. And there's a couple of people in there, they were laughing and joking, one of them was outside, so yeah, I moved on. You win some, you lose some, as they say. <laughs>